they so fresh, so clean, think they like me. Like me. I wear more supreme than a hype bitch. Only blue, no green, don't excite me. I can make a whole bunch of What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thanks for coming back. I'm so glad you guys are here. You know what I mean? Um, so today's video is going to be a video on how to roll and fold your clothes at BMT. And if you like it, you can do it after BMT. But I, it's, it's very time consuming. But hey, that's just how, that's just how this is going to work. You know, we're just going to keep it moving. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to roll and fold your PT shirts, your green OCP shirts, your socks, and your PT gear. Um, all the other stuff gets hung up. Uh, so yeah. And underwear and stuff like that, like I didn't feel like I had to go in detail about that. When I was going to BMT, um, I looked up videos to see how they did it so that I could have a like you know a head start so they would think like you know look at her you know kind of on her shit but there were videos from like 2007 2000 like 15 17 I went in 2020 so where were we going with that nowhere updated one I hope you guys enjoy this video this will be the 2020 2021 version because I'm sure they still do it this way um but yeah, don't come for me because it's been a year since I've been in basic training. So, um, actually a year tomorrow since I went to basic training. So, today's August 3rd, tomorrow's August 4th. I'm going to try my best to do it to the best of my ability, to my memory, and all that good stuff. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. But don't forget to like this video and subscribe. You can follow me on my Instagram. And yeah, let's just get on into it. Also, the angles are very, very terrible, uh, so I try, but yeah. Okay, let's get into this video. So I'm hoping this is a good uh, angle for y'all. This is gonna have like the least amount of editing in it just because of the type of video it is. So first of all, the clothes that you'll get in basic are t-shirt, um, your PT shorts right here. You'll get your PT pants, have those, and your PT jacket. Um, besides your PT gear, you'll get your OCPs. Um, you don't fold those, so I'm not going to show you all that. Um, you hang that up. But you'll get your socks, and you will get your green tee that goes underneath that. These are still from basic, so I do have different versions of the green shirt or different brands and kinds but these are the exact socks i was gonna do a different pair but then that would be cheating the system so anyway start off with this shirt um so i'm gonna try to explain this as well as possible i hope you guys can see that but basically what you're gonna do is your shirt's gonna be laid out flat like this your shirt will be laid out like this so what you're gonna do is you are going to take your shirt and you're gonna fold it over this way like that and you want the sides to meet y'all bear with me because I haven't done this in like so long but I'm trying to give you guys the gist of it obviously it has to be really really neat whenever you're actually in basic or you will get um you know points taken off of your um your uh actual them reviewing your stuff i forgot i forgot what it's called but like this so then this you're gonna take this is just how i did it but this the ending way will be the same this the air force insignia will be on the bottom so you'll flip that over and you'll make it even like this my shirt is definitely wrinkled so then you're gonna take your sleeves you're gonna fold over your sleeves like this like that 
and then you're going to fold it over again and everything is going to line up for you like that then it's just going to be a simple fold here like this and then it's a simple fold over like this and then you just fix it and your insignia should be on there like that um, and you should have I think they call it an e-fold I'll try to show y'all up close so this is initially how it will look it will be like a square kind of thing your insignia will basically be on the top you'll have your e-fold here on the side I think that's what they called it I'm not quite sure and then it'll look like this on the other side but it's <laughs> like I said I haven't done this in a while but the most important part is that these all line up like that so that's how that's supposed to look I will show you guys one more time And there you go. You have your folds right here. And then this is what it looks like on this side. And it's a square. And that's how it'll turn out for your PT shirt. For the PT pants or the shorts, you're going to fold these. Some people would fold their one side in like that. And then fold this over like that and fold it down and tuck it under this way and tuck it under I believe that's the way you do it it's supposed to end up like in a square something like that I think that's right don't quote me on it I'm trying my best to remember um, my MTI didn't really care that much how they looked as long as they looked somewhat like a square kind of like that so there's the shorts the PT sh pants it was kind of like the same thing but you fold it like you fold pants regular and you just fold it over and fold it again like that but everybody knows how to fold pants so they're square as well the jacket you get uh, whether that is your um, squadron jacket or hoodie or your PT stuff it'll be folded the same way and they can go in your wall locker as well so I'm going to do this. So basically what you'll do is you'll fold over this like that. Kind of like the shirt. Like this. Flip it over. Like that. Take the sleeves. Fold it over like that, and then you'll fold this over like that, and your Air Force insignia should be on the top, just like that. And this will go at the very bottom of your uh, wall locker, just like that. So 
that is your PT gear, your jacket, and then your pants here, your shorts here, and then you have your shirt. And that's how you do those. I, whew, that was, that was different because I haven't done that in like forever. Let's move on to the, the OCP shirt, the green shirt. So this is the, I won't say it's hard, but it is kind of hard. So with these, you don't fold them, you roll them, but you kind of have the same technique as when you do your PT shirt. So you're gonna take your green shirt and you're gonna lay that out. So this is how I rolled mine. So I fold it over like that. Flip it over again. And then I fold this in like this. And then I will fold this back like that. Now you roll them. This is the tricky part because you want it to be super even. Um, you never know who your MTI is going to be and how they absolutely want it to turn out. Um, but mine, I sucked at rolling. Folding out is fine, but rolling not that not that good. So, what you do? Take the bottom of your shirt and you roll it. And this one you want it to be really tight. So I would take my pinkies right here, put them here to make sure that my fingers that it stayed, you know, even. And you want to check each side to make sure it's even. Especially the side that has the three pieces of fabric right here. Three pieces of fabric and then you just have the one fold right here. I'm going to try to do this. It's easier if you have someone holding your shirt for you or something holding it. I used to put it underneath my bedpost and roll it. Or if you have someone in your flight that's really good at rolling, have them do it and say that you can roll or fold something else that they're probably not that good at. Okay, I'm gonna tuck this tag in. This is the probably the best one I've ever done because I, in basic, I sucked at this. But this is what it looks like. This is what it will look like after you've rolled it. So you want this to be pretty even. 
pretty flat if there's any MTIs watching this how did I do comment below because this is pretty flat but you don't want it to be mushed you want the cinnamon roll as we would call it on the inside like that and on the other side you would want this to be pretty even as well so pretty flat when you turn it to the side I feel like I did that slow enough if not I'll do a like slow down a clip of it but I'm not gonna refold this but I tried but this is what your shirt would look like and it should not be able to unroll at all and you'll set them into your drawer on top of the fold like that. so it shouldn't be able to move whenever you set it in your drawer now let's get into the socks and I think the socks is like the worst part I think rolling them in general is the worst part but this is what we got to do you've got to do this for your your white socks your OCP socks and your blue socks if I remember correctly so for the OCP socks and this is what mine look like from basic training you lay them out flat like this hope y'all can see that these are clean I wear since I'm in Alaska, I wear the little heat, um, the hot hands foot warmers, and they attach to your socks, and it literally changed the color of my socks. So, yeah. So, you'll just have them laid out flat, and you'll put the heel flat. Like that. So, then you're going to put one on top of the other, like this. And you want one of them to be a little higher up than the other. Just like that. Like that. And then you're going to start rolling from the bottom. So same com concept. You just start rolling. But you want to roll these on top of each other. And you want them to be tight. Taking my pinkies and setting those in place to roll. And you wanna make sure these are even on both sides. So you wanna constantly pull and check on each sock since there's two on both sides. as you roll up. Don't roll up too much to where you can't check it. You know what I mean? Roll up maybe once or twice. Check it and then roll again. Okay, so now that it's rolled, it'll look like this. And you're going to take your, this sock right here. I think it's this one. And you're, this is what it looks like on the sides. It should have that little donut thing again. This one is not that good because it's too far out. They want it to be super flat on both sides. But you're going to take your top sock. And you're just going to fold it over your sock roll situation this is why you want it to be flat I mean you want one to be above the other because you want to fold it over okay. 
So this is what it will look like. And you are to have a smiley face right here. That's what they call it, a smiley face. And that's how your sock should be rolled. And the side should be pretty flat. Pretty flat on the sides. One thing you don't want to do, at least my MTI did not like this, is banging them like that uh, to make them super flat and make them super small. Don't do that because that's like you'll get marked off for that. Uh, you want it to be naturally flat because when you mush it, it looks mushed instead of even. And so, yeah. So, that's how you do your OCP socks in your shirt. So guys, that is the end of this video. If there was anything in this video that has changed since you've been in BMT uh, recently, please leave that down below so everybody else and myself can be informed on that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any more Air Force related videos that you guys want me to film or any questions you guys want me to answer, don't be afraid to leave them down below. If you want to DM me, I've gotten a lot of DMs from people uh, because I guess they didn't feel comfortable with posting under a post, but that's perfectly fine. Just follow me on Instagram and you'll be able to DM me. Um, and I get back pretty quickly, even though I am in a whole other time zone than most people. I do try to get back pretty quickly. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.